Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Beginner Electrical Engineer here and today we are going to talk about turning your Arduino Uno into a multimeter. Now this is the same Arduino Uno that I have reviewed also on my channel, it was my very first video. Um, links to it are on screen now. But today I am going to show you how to turn one of these into a multimeter. Well, not a multimeter, but a voltmeter. And it is very simple. I'm not going to be building it, but I'm going to be drawing it. Okay, so we've got our Arduino Uno here. And I'm just going to be connecting that to the zero volts. Now obviously you can use this with the other Arduinos as well, as long as it runs off of 5 volts, which most of them do. And now we're just putting in the 5 volt supply rail. Let's just write in plus 5 volts. And this is 0 volts. Obviously this is only a rough sketch. Anyway, to do this we're going to be using one of the Arduino's analog in pins, or in this case we're using A0. So, that's the UNO drawn. Now we have to draw the input stage. So the input stage is very simple. First we label start by drawing a rail which is the input. Let's just put in, that's where we're measuring the voltage in comparison to the zero. And that goes through a rotary switch. <clears throat> and a rotary switch is essentially the same dial as used on a multimeter to select the ranges. So, to draw one of them, so you start with the center, which is also the input, and all of the outputs are dots that go in a circle around it. So in this case, let's just use three to keep things simple. If you have a, a rotary switch with many, many different poles, as in different outputs that you can choose from, then you're going to have to repeat this step several times. So, the first one is very easy. We have the input of the analog, and that can just go straight to the input that you're the probe that you're trying to measure with. And that will measure between 0 and 5 volts, according to the Arduino Uno, because that can measure between 0 and 5 volts. But now we're going to use a voltage divider in order to get higher than 5 volts. So take one of the other inputs and just draw a rail across and then we'll start going down, we'll go past our other switch just to make it nice and simple. And then we need two resistors. Yes, I'm drawing this the English way, but I hope that doesn't bother many people. There is one resistor. I'll tell you what values we need in one second. And the other resistor is just in series with that. There we go. So, the values we need are typically um, around about 90 kilo ohms. That's not ohms. That is ohms. And 10 kilo ohms. And these should all be around 1% tolerance, i.e. very precise. This is why using a, a, um, a potentiometer might be a bit easier. You could use 10 turn potentiometers, which could get the, the divide exactly right. But what we're essentially doing here is dividing the input voltage by 10 at this point here. So the voltage coming in might be 6 volts, but at this point it's going to be 0 0.6 volts. And that point there connects to the analog input of our Arduino, like that. 
and with the other pole of the switch it is the same thing except we swap that for 900 kilo ohms so I'm just going to quickly draw that in I just made a boo-boo I've drawn a line straight through the resistor that is absolutely great because that means I might have to redo this whole drawing because I did it in pen. Or we could just move on and ignore that fact. Either one. Anyway, what we're doing here is we've got 900 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohms at 1%. So again, now obviously this is much easier to do with with potentiometers. Obviously the higher precision you can get the better. And the easiest way to calibrate it is to put in, it is to connect the switch to 5 volts and then adjust the potentiometer until the output is 0.5 volts and 0.05 volts. You might want to use a multimeter for that, which would be the easiest way. And just repeat this for as many poles as you want on the switch up to, I think it's 0.005 volts is the limit of A0 or A0 in. So it, go, it goes being divided by 10, being divided by 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, etc. But if you're measuring more than 50 volts, I would really be careful. And the code for this is also incredibly simple. You can find many, many examples online that change the analog input into an actual voltage that can be printed. The easiest way to do that is to analog read then divide that value by 1024 which is the number of divisions in the analog to digital converter and then times by five which is the supply voltage five volts and you should get another the voltage coming straight in now with the other divider stages you will need to times it by ten hundred thousand to get the original voltage back Now, the easiest way to do that in code is to have a double throw switch. Okay, so the easiest way to draw a double pole switch is similar to how we did it before. So we start with our input. Input. And we draw the other main of the pole as well. But in this case, with our Arduino, we're connecting that to plus 5 volts. And then we go with drawing the outputs of the switch. And I'll just go, I'll just have these go to, to um, divide by one, divide by 10 and divided by 100, just to simplify things. And we do the same kind of thing with the other pole, the other throw as well. We draw our three dots, but this time we, these are going to go to digital, digital pins. Let's use four, five, and six for this case. This is going to pin four, this is going to pin five, and this is going to pin six. Now each of these need a pull down resistor, i.e. to pull the voltage low when the, when the switch is not contacting that particular pole. Now the easiest way to do that is with a resistor of value around about 10 kilo ohms and that just goes to your zero volts which I'm putting as earth just to simplify things a little bit. Now one thing I missed with the <clears throat> with the rotary switch in the previous one was the switch itself. 
So I'm just going to draw that in very roughly. And you should note that in your drawings, they should always be at the same position as well. Also, because it's a double pole, a double throw switch, you will need to have a little dotted line showing that the input and output stages are connected. Well, not connected electrically, but mechanically, like that. And you can put uh, D, T, rotary. For double throw rotary switch. And in your code you can just have an if statement saying if if pin 6 is high then the result of the analog read needs to also be timed by 100 in order to get the original voltage back. Obviously this works best with stable voltages of the DC kind because we haven't got any complex circuitry in order to measure AC and rapidly changing DC voltages. But you can have this print to an LCD or through serial monitor if you having if you have your Arduino Uno plugged into your computer. But personally I'd go with an LCD because then you can use it without a computer, which is the main benefit. Obviously if you're making one of these you're going to have a multimeter anyway, but that is it's a fun project to do, I'd love to give it a go, but I don't have much money right now. That is all for today, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Beginner Electrical Engineer, and hopefully you've learned something interesting. If you want to give this a go, please let me know how it, how it turns out for you. If you want any help with this or any other videos that I've made, leave them in the comments below or on the comment section of the video that, had, that you had a problem with. Also, if you've got any questions about any electrical engineering topic, please feel free to ask them and I can get back to you. Sometimes I'm not helpful, sometimes I am. That depends on the question. But if you like it, please give me a like. If you want to just subscribe, that would be great. I'm trying to do videos as often as I can right now before I start earning some money, which means I'll have less free time to do this. But with more money comes more ambitious projects, which you might miss out on if you're not subscribed. Anyway, that is all for today. Have a good one, and I shall see you in the next video.